Chemical equilibrium. What is it? What is so special about it? How can we see this process in our daily life? Let's find out. Chemical equilibrium is one of bizarre but also a unique process in chemistry. This is because the process does not use up all the reactants and the process is reversible. This can be seen in our daily life and the most significant example that we can take is from our own self, our blood. Our blood, specifically hemoglobin, undergo chemical equilibrium process. In clean air or at significant sea levels, as we breathe, the oxygen enters our lungs. The oxygen attaches to hemoglobin to form oxyhemoglobin and then the oxyhemoglobin delivers the oxygen throughout our body cells. This results in the shift of the equilibrium to the left, away from oxygenated blood in accordance to the Lee Chatelier's principle. But, at high altitudes, if someone is not prepared for the changes, they tend to be dizzy since there are less amount of oxygen contained at a high pressure. This is why the climbers use pressured oxygen from an oxygen tank to give adequate oxygen for their body, and this shifts the equilibrium to the right. While on B0, humans exposed to carbon monoxide released by the vehicles. This causes a frightening variation on normal hemoglobin oxygen interaction. This carbon monoxide fools the hemoglobin by mistaking it with oxygen and from carbon C hemoglobin instead of oxyhemoglobin. As it travels from the lungs to the body cells, carbon monoxide is released instead of oxygen. This can cause carbon monoxide poisoning and it can be seen if someone shows a flushed face after breathing. The formation process of oxyhemoglobin and carboxyhemoglobin in our blood shows a very significant example of chemical equilibrium in our daily life. This process is also important because this process helps to regulate the amount of oxygen and balancing them.